new start. Anne went to Queen's College and enjoyed her time there. She was in the same class as Gilbert Blythe, but they didn't speak. At the end of the year, there were more examinations. Anne did very well. She won a free place at another college, Redmond College. Gilbert Blythe got a place at the college, too. Anne went back to Green Gables in June. Diana came to see her. I have three months' wonderful vacation at Green Gables, said Anne. Then I'm going to Redmond College. Gilbert Blythe isn't going, Diana told her. His father doesn't have the money. So Gilbert is going to teach in the Avonlea School. Oh, said Anne. Suddenly, she felt sad. The next morning at breakfast, Anne watched Matthew's face. It was very tired and gray. Is Matthew all right? She asked Marilla later. No, said Marilla. He's having problems with his heart again. He works hard, and his heart isn't strong. Some days later, Matthew came into the kitchen and fell to the ground. Anne and Marilla ran to him, but Matthew was dead. Anne was very sad. Later, in her room, she cried and cried. Matthew was my first friend, she thought. He brought me to Green Gables. He was always very kind to me. I loved him. Anne woke in the night, and Marilla came to her. Don't cry, she said. Matthew was a good brother and a wonderful man. But you have me, and I have you, Anne. I love you very much. Marilla sat at the kitchen table. She looked very tired and sad. Anne put her arms around her. What's wrong, Marilla? she asked. My eyes are hurting again, answered Marilla. I can't see very well, and I can't work. And Anne, there's something worse. I have to sell Green Gables. Matthew and I had our money in, the Abbey Bank. But the bank had problems, and now there's no money. She started to cry. Don't cry, Marilla, cried Anne. You don't have to sell Green Gables. You and Matthew did everything for me. Now I'm going to help you. I'm not going to go to Redmond College. I'll teach at a school on Prince Edward Island, and I'll help you with Green Gables. We'll be very happy, you and I. Mrs. Lynde visited Green Gables. You're doing a very good thing for Marilla, she said to Anne. She's very happy, and you can teach at the Avonlea School. One can't, said Anne. Gilbert Blythe is going to teach here. I'll live at Green Gables, but I have to find another school. No, said Mrs. Lynde. Gilbert heard about Manila's problems. He knows you want to be near Manila so he's going to go to the White Sands School. The Avonlea School is yours. That's very nice of Gilbert, thought Anne in surprise. Two days later, Anne met Gilbert on the road. She stopped and put out her hand. Gilbert, she said, thank you very much for the job at the Avonlea School. I'm sorry about everything. Please, let's be friends now. Yes, said Gilbert and took Anne's hand. I'd like that. Gilbert walked home with Anne. They stood outside Green Gables and talked for half an hour. Later, Anne sat by her window and looked out. It was a beautiful night. I know I'm going to be very happy, she thought. I have a good job and dear friends. Everything is going to be all right.